All right, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm not doing a notepad tutorial. I just wanted to make this as cancerous as possible because whenever I remember watching tutorials on YouTube, they pretty much looked like this, um, especially with the unregistered Hypercam 2. But anyway, basically what's going on is someone emailed me asking me how I emulate J2ME games. And um, this is a tutorial on how to do that, on how I do it. So basically I use an emulator called Free J2ME, so just Google that. And then I go, I went to this place. I um, did a bit of research and apparently Free J2ME is one of the best ones. Um, and just download this off Source Forge. Your download will start shortly. And um, what will happen is you'll get a Java with a, a, a zip with this folder in it. Um, so I'll show you in a second if this finishes. So you open this up. You've got this Free J2ME folder. It's got all this stuff in it, which is fantastic. So you want to go to Free J2ME, um, and this has these folders in it. You want to go to Build is the folder you want, and this basically is what you want here. Um, so, to get games, I like to go to a website called java.mob.org. Apparently, it takes me straight to the Grand Theft Auto page, which I don't think is legit. Um, and we'll get a we'll go Java games. We'll, we'll get something nice to play. Hopefully, it uh, hopefully it runs well enough. Let's get Pro Evo 2017, which is so recent it probably shouldn't exist. And we'll click download. Um, there's many websites you can find this stuff on. Okay, this one only has one resolution, which is a poor example, so we're going to go for something else. We'll go for the Fast and the Furious 6. Fantastic film. <laughs> here we go. So see here, it has a ton of different uh, resolutions. Going as little as like 176 by 220, all the way up to 480 by 800. Uh, generally, the highest res is what you want when you're emulating because... Um, it's usually the best version, it's just the best looking, that sort of thing. But uh, for the sake of it, we're just going to get this version 240 by 320. Sorry if you can hear the birds in the background. Um, and then we'll open it up. We'll hit keep. Um, I'm just going to get it out of my downloads folder here. So what you want to do is you want to grab that file and you want to put it somewhere where you know, um, just put it somewhere where you know where it is. I like to actually put it in this free J2ME area because then I can just access it later. So here we go, Fast and Furious 6.jar, we downloaded the 240 by 320 version. So uh, what we want to do now is open free J2ME.jar and then we have it here, Fast and Furious 6.jar. So I'm going to open it, and it's a game loft game, which is always cool, universal, and I'm actually going to close it now. So now what I like to do is I want to go to config, and I'll see it, these are some games I've played earlier, um, I'll see it here, in Fast and Furious 6. So I want to open this up and there'll be a game.conf notepad file, or a .conf file I suppose, and you want to have it at the resolution that you downloaded it at. Um, often it doesn't do this automatically. Thankfully, this one is already at the resolution that we need, so it looks like it's going to work just fine. Um, anyway, so, very good. Make sure that's saved if you alter it. I think you can change the first person, sh the, the first person shooter, the um, frames per second here, which is great. Uh, and then go back, and then basically uh, you can run the game. All good. Fast and Furious 6. And here we go. Apologies for all the cancer on the screen. I thought the gag was worth it though. Aren't I funny? Whoa, that's some noise. All right, so that's Fast and Furious 6. Press five to continue. So the controls are a bit weird. I could never figure out how you um, modify the controls in this piece of software, so in Free j 2 me So basically the numpad is the numpad except 789 or 123, and 123 is 789 as if it was an actual phone numpad. So five is five and we press five to continue like it says. Never played this before, but here's um, the different game modes. Um, basically, Q, W, E, and R are the menu buttons, which um, took a bit of just mashing on the keyboard for me to figure out. And then you can also use up, down, left, and right, like the arrow keys, um, which will be, which I assume are the arrow keys on a phone, but they might just be 8, 4, 2, and 6 on the keypad just remapped to the arrows. I'm not completely sure. 
basically those are your buttons and then you can just hop in a game there's my man Paul Walker rest in peace and then off we go and that's uh this is this is quite a great looking game I guess that's what you expect for a late um a late release on J2ME which this definitely is I can't believe how long they made J2ME games for but um yeah that's kind of how I do it and it's a very very simple sort of lightweight way of doing it um I kind of just you know when you Google stuff and you throw Reddit at the end to make sure it's a bit more legit? I don't know why I do that, but basically I, the, the way I found this emulator was like, I just Googled best uh, Java emulator, or Java phone or J2ME emulator, and then just threw in Reddit at the end, and this one was recommended quite a bit. Um, so that's how I found it. And um, I haven't had too many problems with games. Often when you download a game, uh, and it doesn't work, which does happen a bit. You just need, you can just download a different version of the game and it's likely that that version will work. So, uh, it's a bit finicky and remember to go into that conf file and fix stuff up when you have to. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's really simple. So I hope this helps that guy who emailed me asking how I do it. And I hope this helps anyone else who's also wondering how I do it. Um, I'm no expert. I'm no expert in this in in the manner. Well, I can't talk today. I'm no expert in emulating J2ME, but I've had a very um very easy time playing like this. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope this helped. Take it easy. Goodbye.